Copper CRM tutorial how to use copper CRM for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can manage your customers with copper CRM because running a business means that you have to build a CRM system so you are able to manage your tickets, manage your contact leads, and connect your business on a larger level. And copper can help you in doing so. So to get started, simply head on over to copper.com and you can sign up with Google or your email address. So I'm going to be getting started with Google over here and I'll just log on to my Google account and click on continue. Once we do that, we're just going to click on allow over here to continue our account creation on copper. And now after that, you have a couple of onboarding questions that you have to answer. So I want process automation and I'll just click on next. And then we're going to add our company name, which is Emelyn Designs. Then we have the option of how big our company is. So let's say we're working solo or we have two to five people. And then if this is your first CRM, so we're going to add yes. And then just click on next. And let's say we are just running a consulting business or agency. I think I'm going to go with agency. And I'll click on next over here. And then after that, you can go on ahead and use their extension, but I'm just going to start with copper. Click on next, next, next. And we're just going to click on get our extension. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on add to Chrome and click on add extension. And once you do that, we're going to see it on the top right. So this is the copper CRM tool. Now, once you have opened up your copper CRM, keep in mind you want to use it on the email address that you have used to create your account. So we're going to log in with Google over here to integrate our CRM. And once you do that, you guys can see that if I click onto one of our emails over here, you will see copper CRM and you will see on the top right, you can click on add to copper like this and then just click on save. And then after that, the information of that particular contact will be saved. You can do this for any person on Copper and you can go back into your home section to be able to view the entirety of your emails. Now, I am opening up the basic dashboard of Copper. Now, in your basic dashboard, you have a feed section on the left. Then you have a people section where you can click on add person. And you can add a person manually by clicking on add person and adding all of their info. You can add a contact type as a current customer, potential customer, or you can click on customize contact type to add a different contact type that might be more relevant to your audiences. For example, let's say for us, I also want to start adding my suppliers over here. So I can click on supplier over here and I'll just click on OK. And I can add these people as suppliers as well. Now, after that, you have a option to add companies in copper. So on the left, if I go with companies and I'll click on add a company. Now, for a company, let's say that the business is called Durden and then you have the work phone, work website, the contact type. So let's say this is a supplier and then you have the owner. So you can insert the owner, whoever is the lead person that is managing this business. So we have a type over here address where it's it yeah visibility everyone description add this as a supplier i don't know why this is glitching right now i'll just click on save yeah so you guys can see this is a business that has been inserted and then you have the owner now in your owner sections, you can invite other team members and by owner, it doesn't mean the business owner, but the owner means that the customer representative or the sales representative that manages or deals with this company most frequently, that is going to be the person that is inserted as a owner over here. Now on the left, the next section you have is your pipeline. So pipelines are a very critical thing to do for any CRM tool. This can be a sales pipeline, a lead magnet, or any other type of pipeline. To get started with setting up your pipeline, click on create a pipeline over here and you can choose one of these pre-existing templates out there. Now in these pre-existing templates, you have things like sales, projects, partnerships, service delivery, 
account renewals, investors, recruitments, onboarding, as well as customer support. Now, let's say for us, I want to basically, I want to nurture our partnership so I can build a pipeline for that. And I'll click on use template. Now I'll click on next. We have prospect meeting and then proposal. And I want another column, which also might be nurturing. So nurturing our relationship with our potential business partners. And I'll just move that up and I'll move that up to be our third column meeting. And then let's say after our proposal, we are nurturing, then negotiating and then closing. So after that, I can click on create to create this particular pipeline and I can go ahead and start adding our opportunities over here. So I can go on ahead and insert our opportunities into this particular pipeline. So add a simple example. So let's say this is going to be a container supplier and we can add this to our partnerships pipeline and we can add a primary contact. So who is the business representative from that business that you are most frequently going to be in communication with? So you're going to enter that person's name over here. Let's say it's this person. Then you have the closing date. So when did you get this contact? So let's say it's today. And then we have the company. So more info about the company. And then we have the status. So the status is open. The owner on your end is going to be inserted over here and then the source so let's say we got this from cold calling and then the stage where this is we are currently in a we've only done a meeting then you can add a value this means the potential revenue you can be generating so let's say it's nine thousand dollars and then we have a priority let's say this is a medium priority and adding a win percentage can help you in identifying where you have the ability to invest more in your potential leads now after that we have our visibility so i want this to be visible only to my team or to everyone within our copper crm workspace then a description and any other definitive tags to help us in identifying key opportunities. Now you can add multiple different opportunities within one pipeline and you can use the summary of these pipelines to choose which one you should be investing in the most frequently as well as seeing any potential increase in your workflows via these pipelines. Now, after that, you have a simple section of tasks that help you in managing your day-to-day -day tasks in your own organization. Then you also have certain marketing tools that can help you in building email automations, as well as tracked email and reporting functions to increase the ability of your business to expand, grow and build a lasting relationship and have a retentive customer base. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Copper CRM. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.